Hey guys, today we are talking about intraosseous access. So if you need fast vascular access to resuscitate your patient, administer medication, blood products, whatever the case may be, and you cannot get an IV, IO is your solution. The most common sites where we perform uh, intraosseous access in adult population, the pre-hospital environment are the sternum, the proximal humerus, and the proximal tibia. From a flow rate perspective and fluid delivery and absorption, the sternum is probably the best site where you can get the faster flow. But in civilian, uh, in civilian EMS, uh, it's typically not utilized as much because of lack of devices and because of the chance of it being uh, in the way of chest compressions, more of a trauma military approach. The humerus is a really good site, really good flow. But the challenge with the humerus is that it's a very mobile joint, so there is a chance that it's going to get dislodged if your patient is moving around a lot and you haven't secured it properly. The tibia is probably the most common yet old-school side and realistically the worst of the three that we talked about, but the advantage of the tibia is that it's very easily uh, it's very easy to landmark. So in order to landmark for intraosseous access on the proximal tibia, what you need to do is basically find the knee, find the patella, and then move yourself a couple of inches below and a couple of inches medial, and you will be right on the flat side face of the bone where you want your needle to go. This device we're testing today is the new SAM uh, IO manual driver. Master Medics does not do any paid partnership. We're not trying to push any product. We just want to show you how different things out there work. The biggest difference between this and traditional needle drivers is that this is manually operated, so there is no battery, hence there is less chances of uh, basically one less failure point. So it's entirely it's entirely manual. There's different needle sizes out there. I believe that the longest one is the yellow, which is also the bariatric needle. Then there is the blue, which is a middle size, and I believe the red is the shorter size. So how does this drill work? Very simply, we find a landmark, remember, two inches below the knee, two inches medial, and we're right there. You want to go in perpendicular to the bone. Once you feel the needle press against the bone, what you need to do is to rapidly press the trigger on the drill until the needle is in. And then you remove the guiding needle, you connect and flush your extension set, and you're good to start administering fluids. Remember that if you're using proximal TV in a patient with severe pelvic or abdominal trauma, there is a chance that the delivery of your medication fluid or blood product is going to be compromised by non-intact vascular somewhere along the way. So in that case, you definitely want to look at something more central and closer to central circulation. See you in your next class, brought to you by Master Medics.